You ever record a video for like 10 minutes and realize you never hit the record button? I don't know if I can recreate the greatness that just occurred so naturally. So let's see if I could muster the creativity and talent, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Hi, everybody. I'm having a long drink, cranberry flavored. Not bad. Doesn't taste like cranberries. Enjoy it. It's been a minute. Wanted to show you the latest thing that I've received in the Dolly world. It makes me so happy. This is a Creatures of Nat Midnight Wildcat. He is absolutely stunning, handmade from tits to toes. And he is definitely the familiar of Mona. They have been bonding preciously. And this has an armature inside. We can move it around. He is gorgeous. I mean, look at those eyes. Oh my God, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. So they are just having a little time together pics on Instagram. <sighs> now I have to rethink what I talked about. So Ozzy and Knight were out of town the same week. There had been a plan for Fred and I to be off the same week. Ozzy's, he graduated. We had this European vacation planned actually last year, but because of the whole Ukraine war, we were a little mm, about Eastern Europe. So we postponed it to this year. He went a couple of weeks ago. We had planned, okay, well, he's gone. We're gonna send Knight to summer camp. And then I'll have a week off and Fred will have a week off and we could just be like, just honey time for a week, right? Things change, as they do in life, and Fred got another job, so he couldn't take vacation, and I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to keep the week off. So, I got to experience Empty Nest prematurely, and I'm not a fan. You know, after a couple of days of catching up in the laundry, fix my vanity, by the way. And, you know, relaxing and having no demands. It's weird. When you've had children forever, it's weird and uncomfortable. It was just a, a little snippet of how I'm not ready for that shit. Like, I mean, maybe in five years I'll be feeling it, but I doubt it. So it was a little bit of an eye opener. Uh, it was nice. I mean, it's always good to have time off, but I was incredibly freaked out because my son was in Europe, unsupervised, okay, EF tours, whatever. And my transitioning son was going to camp for the first time as a transitioning son for a week. And here I am at home going, so what do I decide to do? I'm going to watch as many horror movies as I can. Let's freak my shit out. Let's see. Let's just get me out of my head. Guess what? Nothing scared me. I was so out of my fucking head, worried about my own children, thinking about all that stuff way back here. I mean, it wasn't up front. It's not like I was panicking or scared or, you know, I wasn't freaking out. It was just deep, deep inside. And even with all of that, I just, 
Ozzy butt dialed me while he was visiting Auschwitz, and I just sat there on the phone listening in his pocket for 30 minutes in the hopes that he might realize I was there listening to the rustling and the silence and the female tour guide's somber voice. But no, I just killed his battery so he couldn't take pictures. Anyway, I am so rambly. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope it's a good summer. It's trucking along. I mean, July is literally around the corner. What the fuck? When did that happen? I've been shopping my ass off. My sister-in-law came for Ozzy's graduation. We did a little, we did a family party. We did a friend party. Um, and she had this really cute bag from a place called Portland Leather Goods. I was like, oh my God. So I checked the website and now I have 20 new bags. This being one, I thought it was adorable and gorgeous for this kind of outfit, right? Oh God, it smells so good. This is not my favorite, but my second favorite leather. It's very soft, pebbly. Um, and this is their bucket bag. Yeah, it's a small one. I'm trying to get into bags that are smaller because I can't carry a big bag anymore. I am a big bag, so I need to carry small bags until I'm a small bag and then I can carry the big bag. My very favorite right now is this. It's the cold brew. It smells so good I could fuck it and chew it at the same time. It's so good. Cold brew leather. This is the best smelling. It's a, it's, it's a little, it's a crossbody, but it's not so big that it's killing me if I carry it. So this is as big as I can do crossbody. It's called the medium crossbody, I think, tote or something. But I bought, oh, so many different leathers and colors, wallets, accoutrement, because I was nervous shopping for a week. Not only did the precious midnight wildcat come, but also leather, 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 holy clothing. I got this little shiv, whatever it's called. And I have a couple of other pieces coming. I've got a cape. That, that's the cape on top of the crib over there. It's a beautiful cape. It's going to go so nicely. I've not put it over a wig. I bet it will look so good on top of a wig. My hair is so flat. When I put it on, it's just like, <clears throat> but on a wig. Oh. Yeah. I like that idea. Definitely. So I'm selling some of my old bags. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I have like 31 bags, which I'm not super proud of having a lot of those. Kavu bags. I have a Hobo International and some other crap. I'm just trying to get rid of because I have to make room for all this other bullshit. I do like the bullshit though. Um, I have a doll incoming. I've paid her off. I have no idea when she'll be here. I'll keep it a surprise, but she's super cute and I've already got custom made clothes for her, which you guys might have seen if I showed you, but I'm not going to show you if I didn't, because I think that will be a lovely surprise. Adorable little doll. That's all I'll say for now. What can you guys see? This is a little Russian gorgeous baby doll. I got a long time ago, my little bear. Um, he is from Russia and boy. It's getting interesting, isn't it? Yeah, everything's getting interesting. Saw Amy's video. It was so delightful. I love it when she's like getting all this shit and making all this shit. She's amazing. She's such an incredible artist. I, <sighs> what is it? Jack Nicholson says in Witches of Eastwick that everything she makes is full of pulp. It's, it's just so full of juice. It's, 
delicious. I love everything she does. So, you know, when she shows the things she's made or anything she's found, she's thinking about doing shit with, I'm just like, go. A lot of drool. It's just true. I've been scrapbooking still. I'm doing a lot of scrapping. I have way too much shit. I started a new book. It's just a composition notebook, but it's, it's just really fun to fill these little shits up with all my crap. It doesn't, there's no pressure. It's just sometimes just laying shit down on paper. Sometimes it doesn't mean anything. Sometimes you're just doing it because you need to be doing something other than being in your own head. My head is a dangerous fucking place. I don't want to be in there for very long. So I need to either numb it with alcohol or express it in a creative way. I can also numb it with television and movies sometimes. I watched Smartless. Um, oh my God, it's so good. It's uh, based on a podcast with Jason Bateman, uh, Will Arnett, and the dude from Will and Grace, the hilarious gay guy. Not the gay guy, but the hilarious gay guy. I can't think of his name. But they have this podcast and they go on the road and they do like a documentary style. And it's hilarious uh, seeing them interact. And you can especially tell how Will and, and Jason have been buds for a long time. Because they did, uh, they worked together on, um, oh fuck, that comedy. Oh, it's going to kill me. Anyway, <laughs> they worked together a long time. Um, so it's. It's really cute. It's fun. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a whole lot with the dolls. I've just been doing a lot of scrapping and shopping, uh, working on career stuff, been busy with work things, um, trying to do a little moonlighting with my lactation work. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know how great the demand is uh, for that. Um, oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. Hold on. There's a really awesome new thing. I'm just going to back it up. We're going to back it up. This was something I definitely wanted to tell you all about. <laughs> it's so cool. So I was strumming through the Insta as you do. And saw that Mattel was doing a new Maleficent. So, do you think I went for it? Yeah. I did. She's still in box because I'm not going to take her out. At least for now. <sighs> but get a gander. Ridiculous. She's fantastic. Look at those wangs. They're not wings, they're wangs. She's got big old wangs. And my favorite part is that they kept the very old school Maleficent face. Hell yeah, they did. That's what's the most important thing. Oh, she's so beautiful. There's a lot of glare, but she has to be kept safe. Look at that chin. It's all about that motherfucking chin. Gotta jut out that pointy ass chin. And that oh, hook nose. God damn, I love her. Oh, I love her originality. Oh, can we do that? Ooh, I guess I can just, oh, oh guys. I can just slip out that front. No glare. Ooh. 
fucking beautiful, beautiful woman. <sighs> Suddenly she had a share voice in my mind. I don't know. I really appreciate that these collector's boxes allow you to just get in there. If I can get this back on. That's awesome. I had no idea that was an option. Well, maybe it wasn't, but it was. I'm going to slide it back in. Slide everything back in place, girls. Keep it together. Is that amazing? You know me. If it, there's Maleficent, especially old school Maleficent, this bitch is on it. Anything new? Sign me the fuck up. So yeah, when I saw that, that was that was happening. So I'm a little bit of trouble with man, and that's okay. I deserve it. I was irresponsible. Mm. Pork schnitzel. My husband makes the best pork schnitzel. It's my favorite thing. It has been an excellent day of relaxing. Oh my God, you guys. Okay. One thing I must show you that my son got me from, I think he said it was from Krakow. Look at this sweet little doll. Look at it. It's so, it's so innocent. Oh, what? What is, what is, what? Does that child know his mother? As embarrassing as it is for him. Be you, people. I giggle so hard. <laughs> but anyway, just a little. Hey! Hope you're doing well. I am completely blitzed, and it's fabulous. It's fabulous. I hope you guys are doing well, taking care of yourselves the best you can, trying to enjoy your hobbies as much as you can, make videos when you can, get out there. It's so hard. I really have to psych myself up for this shit, hence lit. So love you, love this hobby. And I hope I actually start doing more with it soon because I, I adore it and I still have all the shit and I don't want to get rid of it. So I want to keep going and I'm thinking about Mona and her familiar coming home and how we're going to weave that into her little story. So cheers to you all. Have a fabulous weekend, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Good night, y'all.